I mean, okay, you won the game. But this is what I be talking about. When you got idiots like... Man. I don't even know what to say, man. Josh... This is Josh Norman, Dez Bryant thing. I saw it on the field. To me, Dez Bryant is nothing. He's not an all-star wide receiver. He's a complainer. Josh Norman, every time he plays, has had success against Dez Bryant. He's never scored a touchdown against Josh Norman. The only time he caught a big play is when they had the rookie on him. He caught one pass on Norman when they went to him. And all game, he ran in his mouth. And then when Norman started talking back, that's when he want to get all it. Man, you just all talking, getting into, you know, he's just doing too much. Then after the game, you going to threaten the man? Okay. See? This is what we people be talking about. When you're dealing with these certain type of mouthy players. And he's one of those mouthy players who can't seem to shut up. And you know, you've seen all this stuff before. So it's no surprise. But I'm going to let y'all listen to Des Bryant. In his own words, tell y'all what happened. Because I don't want y'all to say I'm biased against the Dallas Cowboys, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to come out and do my job, and that's exactly what I did. He wanted... First off, Washington needs to get their money back from Josh Norman. Now let's go. What's up? What's up? Is that aspect of the game satisfying that personal battle uh, you know, um, I didn't make it personal. He made it personal, you know. I, you know, I was just going to come out and do my job, and that's exactly what I did. He wanted to bump, you know. I, I let him bump, and then he got me bumping a little bit, and I just, he just made me attack him even more, you know. And, um, you know, I, I honestly feel like the guy's extremely soft. I think he's just a bunch of talk, you know. If he was out and about, I wouldn't dare in my life let him talk to me like that. He, those words would never come out of his mouth. I promise. I promise it wouldn't. You know, but on another note, we got after that ass, um, hell of a win, you know, um, it, feel, it feels good. So what exactly happened between the two of you after that? You know, um, he, he just, he just be talking, man, like, it's, it's stupid, it's really stupid, and, you know, I, he's just not about that life, he's not, he's not about that life, not at all, you know, it's to the point to where I might just leave him alone, but, you know, after this week, I gotta put the film out how I've done him, and then after that, I'll leave him alone, I don't care about it. What's unique about this offense? Being able to respond in the fourth quarter against Philadelphia, against Pittsburgh, and again tonight. You know those rookies are leaders, and um, um, we behind them 100%. You know they are phenomenal players, and um, they're extremely they, they are extremely blessed. And you know we just want to we just want to be there for them. You know they damn great. It seems like this whole team has a great resolve in the fourth quarter when challenged and they're able to respond. In every situation. You know, um, we're working in practice all the time. It's routine, it's routine like, and um, you know, Coach Garrett does an outstanding job with us. And um, you know, we're gonna get back to work Saturday, and we're gonna put this game behind us and move forward. Did he grab? So that's yeah, basically. Leg on the, the one catch was kind of. Yeah, yeah, he was holding the whole night. How much he got paid? Seventy something. How much? Damn. Get it back, Washington, get it back. How satisfying is it to win 10 games in a row? It's cool. It's cool. We got to keep it moving. You know, um, we can't we can't get comfortable. You know, you get comfortable, you're going to fall apart. You're going to fall apart. You know, you don't. Yep, and that's what's going to happen. Dallas is going to fall apart, and I'm going to be right there to make the bus when they go down. Now, I don't think there is. Now, before. Why is he doing all this talking now? This would get me. You weren't saying nothing before. Now you got all this mouth. You see what I'm saying? This is why 
when you playing good, now you want to come out and be all boastful and go. But when you lose, you can't face the press. You know, so let's let Josh Norman tell you from his mouth what went down. Awesome. You're gonna show your stats and all the stuff you did. You you had touchdowns ever since you've been back when you ain't score against Josh Norman. Why is that? So they kept running back screens and they would throw on you when the rookie was there. When they had another they was in uh I forgot the lineup they were in, but they moved uh, Norman off of you by moving you to the other position so hey I get it man I get it sometimes the greater the, the greater the pride the greater the fall I like all these cowboy fans because right now like I say normally they be out of it Right now, they know they just scratching to try to make the playoffs. Now, they number one in the NFL. Oh, yeah. They've been waiting 20-some years for this. Now, they chest is out. Now, they mouths are gone. Now, they the greatest team ever, and they have never even lined up. They already think they're going to the Super Bowl. This is great. So, when the fall happens, oh, it has even a greater impact, and I'll be right there to make the bust. And sweep up all the cash. I'm out. 